Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. Today we are testing, another free antivirus application against the latest malware samples. In this video, we will get the introduction of, AVG free antivirus, and information about its features and settings. Also, we are testing AVG free antivirus against the latest malware samples, and check for its pros and cons. So, do not skip the video, and watch the video till the end. AVG, is an abbreviation of Antivirus Guard. AVG is a line of antivirus software developed by AVG Technologies, a subsidiary of Avast. First product of, AVG is launched in 1992 in the Czech Republic. On its main interface, there is an option to run a smart scan, that is a quick scan is available. From the drop-down menu, you can select other options like full, targeted and boot time scan. On the same screen, it is showing the protection status for computer, web, and email. In the computer protection tab, you can see file shield, behavioral shield, ransomware protection, and network protection options. You can enable or disable, file, and behavioral shields from here for temporary or permanent. Ransomware protection allows you to add a custom folder for protection against ransomware. Network Inspector Network Inspector automatically detects network weakness, and strangers piggybacking on your Wi-Fi. Web and Email these are your core defenses for online protection on the web, and email. Web Shield, blocks web attack, and unsafe downloads. Email Shield, scans for unsafe email attachments, and blocks it. Hackers Attack Protection, Privacy Protection, and Payment Protection comes with the full version of AVG Antivirus. So, let's skip this part for now. We will discuss it, in another video of AVG full version antivirus test and review it. By clicking the hamburger button on the main interface, the setting option will open. Where you will find, sign in, activation of the product, subscription, browser extension, statics, etc. With the free version, AVG provides one interesting feature, which is data shredder. Data Shredder is used for secure file deletion, where you can select and browse single file or folder, a whole drive, or the files already in recycle bin. But once you delete the files using Data Shredder, then you cannot recover those files with any recovery tool. You can manually update virus definitions, and application from settings or from the main interface as well. Let's update both before to start our test on malware. You can also manage notification settings like enable disable notification tray icon or enable disable sound etc. In the exception settings, you can add the particular file, folder or website URL. Also, Avast provides you with an extra option to add a command line exception. If, Avast identifies any undesired behavior from any application, then it will show you pop-up for blocking that app. Also, you can add applications manually from settings, which will be blocked through ransomware shield. You can protect your settings, with the password to avoid any unauthorized changes. Through the troubleshooting settings, you can manage, AVG delay startup, self-defense which prevents malware from deactivating or uninstalling antivirus. Adding or modifying extra components like VPN, or browser, or AVG cleaning utility can be done from here. With the basic protection settings tab, you can adjust the antivirus sensitivity level from low, medium to high. High sensitivity level only for a very unsafe environment. Available for both virus and PUP. The default action is set to, auto, fix. 
The automatic fix tries to repair the file first. If repair is not possible, it proceeds to move the file to quarantine. If that fails as well, the file is deleted. File Shield File Shield scans any file added to or opened on your PC. Also scans for OT or ON items when removable media like USB is attached. Behavior Shield Behavior Shield warns you, if any application behaves maliciously. Web Shield Web Shield, blocks web attack, and unsafe downloads. Protects against botnets. And here you can add any URL, you wish to block. Email Shield Email Shield, scans for unsafe email attachments, and blocks it. In the scan option, scan categories available are deep scan, file or folder scan, explorer scan, boot time scan. You can set the sensitivity level from low to high for each scan type. And also, you can customize settings for each scan type, like scan priority, scan area and drives, file types and what action to be performed if detects any malware during the scan etc. Ransomware Shield provides two security options. First is Smart Mode, and second is Strict Mode. Whereas, in Smart Mode, only trusted apps are allowed to make changes in protected folder like Microsoft Word, Excel, etc. But in Strict Mode, no application is allowed to make changes without your permission. Let's come to the main point of, Antivirus Test Against On Malware Samples. So, we need to copy malware samples to the desktop, and extract it in the folder. But, before that we need to disable the antivirus real-time protection. All the malware samples are kept in password protected zip file, to avoid any accidental click. I have a total of 350 number of malware samples available for the test. In this collection, there are different types of files included. EXE, DLL, APK Android application, DOC document, XLS Microsoft Excel file, ELF, Linux ELF file, which means executable and linkable format, etc. All the samples are extracted, and kept in folder. Let's start with our test now. First test, after disabling real-time protection. And second test, after enabling real-time protection. Now the scan is completed. The total number of files scanned is 350. AVG has taken default action on it, and now all the files are moved to quarantine. Let's go back to the folder, and check for how many files are left behind undetected after the scan. As you can see, here is 11 files are left undetected. Now, it's time to perform another scan, after enabling real-time protection. Let's start our second scan on remaining files, after enabling real-time protection. After the second scan, no malware is found. That means all the detected threads were moved to quarantine successfully. Now, it's time to run the behavioral test on those files. We can perform the behavioral test on only EXE files by executing them. The first file is blocked and detected as a threat, and automatically moved to quarantine. Let's check another EXE file. Second file is executed but, the ransomware shield detected unnatural behavior, and this pop-up is asking to allow or block it. Let's block it for now. But, the file is not deleted or quarantined. It has only blocked access to files from document folder. Third file is executed successfully. Out of the three EXE files, two of them blocked, and one is left unblocked. Now, we will check these remaining files are malicious or not, by uploading them to VirusTotal.com.
The first file uploaded for the test is the Android APK file. This is detected as malicious by 30 antivirus engines. A vast antivirus mobile version has detected this file as malicious on the virus total site. Some others are, Avira, Bitdefender, Dweb, Emzisoft, Kaspersky, McAfee, Eset, Microsoft, Symantec, etc. The second file uploaded is the .exe file, this is detected by 13 antivirus engines. Some of the well-known antiviruses are, Bitdefender Theta, Synit, FireEye, Semantic, Sophos ML, etc. file uploaded is ELF file, which means executable and linkable format. This file is detected by, 14 antivirus engines. Some of them well-known antiviruses are, Adaware, Bitdefender, Emzisoft, Escan, Microsoft, etc. Let us check for the pros and cons of the AVG free antivirus. Please check the below description for antivirus download link and information about the virus. Do not forget to like videos and subscribe our channel NB Infotech. If you like this video, then comment on your response and click like button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.